is part 49 of WCF radio series. In this video, we'll discuss what happens if the binding does not provide security and you have explicitly set protection level other than none. This is continuation to part 48, so please watch part 48 before proceeding. In part 48, we discussed using this protection level named parameter. It can take any of these three values, none, sign, encrypt and sign. So, what happens if the binding does not provide security and you have explicitly set protection level other than none, an exception will be thrown. Let's understand this with an example. We'll be working with the same example that we worked with in the previous session. So if you look at the Hello Service contract here, it has got three operation contracts. And if you look at these two operation contracts right here, notice that we have set protection level explicitly other than none for these two operation contracts. And then within the config file, if you look at the binding we are using, we are using WSHTTP binding. Out of the box, security is enabled for WSHTTP binding. So when I run this WCF service, look at that, the service host gets started without any problem. Now, let's change the binding to basic HTTP binding. Out of the box, security is not enabled for basic HTTP binding, although we can, we can enable it if required. Okay, So for basic HTTP binding, security is not enabled. And within the service contract, we have used this protection level named parameter to enforce the minimum level of security that we require for this operation contract and for this operation contract. So here we want the messages to be just digitally signed. Here we want the messages to be signed and encrypted as well. Okay, but the binding does not, you know, provide security. The security is not enabled for basic HTTP binding. Now, when I build the solution. Look at within the status bar, build succeeded. So we don't get any compilation errors. But then when it tries to start the service host, look at that, there is an invalid operation exception. And look at the error message, what it says. The request message must be protected. This is required by an operation of the contract. The protection must be provided by the binding. But the basic HTTP binding, it doesn't have security enabled by default. And that's why we have that exception there. So if you enforce minimum level of protection using the protection level named parameter, then you will have to use a binding that provides at least that minimum level of protection. Otherwise, you will have an exception. So in general, protection level parameter is used to enforce the minimum level of protection required. If the binding does not provide that minimum level of protection, an exception will be thrown. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.